If you've ever picked up a box of ammo and noticed the words rim fire or center fire, you might have wondered, what's the difference? They both look similar from the outside, just small metal cylinders filled with gunpowder and a bullet on top. But under that brass casing lies a fundamental difference in how they ignite and perform. Whether you're into firearms for sport, hunting, or just historical curiosity, understanding rim fire versus center fire cartridges isn't just about gun mechanics. It's about the evolution of ammunition itself. So let's unpack the fascinating story of how these tiny metal tubes changed shooting forever, right here on History of Simple Things. Before diving into rim fire and center fire, let's clarify what a cartridge actually is. A modern cartridge, or round, is made up of four main parts. The bullet, the case, the powder, and the primer. The bullet is the projectile that leaves the barrel. The case holds everything together. The powder provides the explosive force, and the primer is the spark plug that sets everything in motion. When the firing pin of a gun strikes the primer, it ignites a small explosion that sets off the gunpowder inside the case, propelling the bullet out at high speed. The key difference between rim fire and center fire ammo lies in where that primer is located and how it's ignited. That seemingly small design choice changes everything, from how powerful the round can be, to how it's made, and even how much it costs. Rimfire cartridges are the older and simpler of the two designs. In a rimfire round, the primer compound isn't a separate piece. It's actually built into the rim of the case itself. The edge of the cartridge base is hollow, and filled with a thin layer of priming compound. When the gun's firing pin strikes the rim, it crushes that area, igniting the primer, which then sets off the powder charge. The most famous example is the 22 Long Rifle, or 22 LR, a tiny round that's beloved by shooters all over the world for its affordability, low recoil, and versatility. It's used for everything from target practice to small game hunting. But while rimfire rounds are inexpensive and easy to use, their design has some serious limitations. Because the brass walls must be thin enough to be crushed by the firing pin, rimfire cartridges can't handle high pressures. That means they're generally low-powered, and their thin cases can't be reloaded once fired. Rimfire ammo is also more prone to misfires because the priming compound can sometimes be unevenly distributed inside the rim. Still, despite these drawbacks, rimfire rounds have stood the test of time. They've been around since the mid-1800s and are still going strong. Centerfire cartridges took things a step further. Instead of having the primer built into the rim, centerfire rounds use a small replaceable primer cap located right at the center of the cartridge base. When the firing pin hits that central primer, it detonates a controlled spark that ignites the main powder charge. This simple shift made a world of difference. Centerfire ammo can handle much higher pressures, which means bigger bullets, more power, and better performance. The brass casings are thicker and stronger, and because the primer is a separate component, shooters can easily replace it and reload the case multiple times. That's a huge advantage for hobbyists and hunters who shoot regularly. Most modern ammunition, from handguns to high-powered rifles, uses the center fire design. It's reliable, consistent, and adaptable for nearly any purpose, from personal defense to professional marksmanship. Even the military exclusively uses center fire rounds because of their robustness and dependability under harsh conditions. When comparing rim fire and center fire cartridges, think of it like comparing a scooter to a motorcycle. 
Both can get you from point A to B, but one is built for casual rides, while the other can handle rougher terrain and higher speeds. Rimfire rounds like the 22 LR are quiet, low recoil, and cheap, perfect for beginners or casual plinking. They're also great for teaching firearm safety or practicing marksmanship without breaking the bank. However, they don't pack much punch and aren't ideal for long-range accuracy or larger game. Centerfire cartridges, on the other hand, offer significantly more power and precision. Their thicker brass casings handle higher pressures, giving them faster velocities and better ballistic performance. They're far more reliable, too. The primer's central location ensures consistent ignition. The downside? They're more expensive to produce. And while you can reload them, that process requires extra tools and experience. So, if you're just having fun at the range, Rimfire might be your go-to. But if you need stopping power, range, or tactical precision, Centerfire is where you'll land. The story of these two cartridge types is also a story of innovation. Rimfire ammo first appeared in the 1840s, with the 22 short being one of the earliest successful designs. It was revolutionary for its time. Self-contained ammunition meant shooters no longer had to fumble with separate powder, ball, and primer. But as firearms advanced, so did the need for more powerful ammunition. In the late 19th century, centerfire technology became the standard, allowing for safer, reloadable, and more powerful rounds. This marked the beginning of modern firearms as we know them today. The rim fire never disappeared, though. It found its niche as a simple, affordable option for recreational shooters and small game hunters. Even now, the 22 LR is one of the most widely used cartridges on Earth. If you're new to shooting, rim fire is an excellent starting point. It's cheap, quiet, and easy to handle. You can shoot all day without feeling the recoil or the cost. But if you're looking for performance, reliability, and versatility, centerfire cartridges are the clear winner. It's not about which is better overall, but rather which fits your purpose. Rimfire is fun and approachable. Centerfire is powerful and practical. They each have their place, and together they represent how far ammunition design has come, from fragile little rim caps to precision-engineered rounds that can travel kilometers with accuracy. So the next time you hear someone mention rim fire versus center fire, you'll know it's more than just a technical detail. It's a glimpse into the history and science behind every shot fired. One changed how we learn to shoot. The other shaped modern warfare and hunting as we know it. Both, however, remind us of one thing. Sometimes, the biggest differences come from the smallest sparks. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.